Hello, this is Lillian, Josie, Anthony, Kirsten, and Julia, and today we're going to be talking about integrated curriculums, specifically for the health and science careers. So essentially we're going to be talking about how we can integrate health and science careers um, into the English language arts programs. So the role of the English teacher is to teach interdisciplinary teaching, so that means that we are going to be introducing other subjects into our English department um, and language arts. So in this case, it's going to be very um, science heavy, science vocabulary, science um, terminology, science careers, um, uh, health, maybe healthcare even, um, health sciences, that kind of thing. So it's just kind of introducing a new um, discipline into the English language arts classroom. So um, the teacher is going to be taking um, taking information that is found throughout the the unit and kind of creating a resource binder so that students can use it for not only this unit, but for future use, for examples for future classrooms. Um, so one role for the teacher is that during the whole um, curriculum that they're, you know, making sure they're keeping tabs and keeping notes on everything that's being done. Um, so another role of the English teacher is that we are giving our students applicable real world experience. So that means we're giving them chances to do some job shadowing, maybe some interview prep, um, maybe a job write up. Um, but along with that, it's about, you know, making sure that they see how it's applicable to um, their actual lives. So it's not just, you know, something that is theoretical, it's actually something they can actually tangibly put their hands on and work in. Um, so we are going to be instructing students on key issues. Um, so for example, what is the biomedical science? What careers are there in biomedical science? Um, what does the industry look like? What does it take to get involved into the industry? And that means like, you know, maybe what um, colleges have certain programs or, you know, um, maybe what other classes can they take? Um, what prerequisites do they need to have, all that kind of stuff. So what does the future look like for the industry? So we are teaching our kids not only about the uh, current uh, health sciences and the careers currently, but what does the future projection look like? What careers will be opening up? Um, you know, what sciences are there going to be in the future? So, and then another one is going to be what choices can the students make regarding this field? So, you know, choosing if they were to join this field, what exactly what program would they want to do? Um, you know, do they like it? Maybe they just figure out they completely don't and that's totally fine too. But it's, you know, opening up their horizons and letting them know that there are a lot of different options for them. Um, so that is the role of the English teacher. English teachers are skilled writers. So for the health science career unit, it makes sense then that the research project is the best area for ELA augmentation. Now, when it comes to the research paper, the, the one of the best things that we could do is help students understand which sources are credible and how to incorporate those sources into their papers. This has to be the first step in, in uh, going into a research project. Uh, after this, once they have their sources, students can go into close reading. Uh, with this, we can help students understand what passages or sections are important for their writing. And um, during close reading, some of the skills that we can teach are annotating, marking up, <coughs> and, uh, and then also making marginal comments on the side, just, to, just as reference for later. Lastly, once students have their, uh, the research and have done their close reading, uh, it's important to teach them the writing process. This will help them become stronger writers and produce much better final products. Now, within the writing process, there's pre-writing, drafting, revising, editing, and then finally publishing. It will behoove students to understand that there are all these steps in the writing process, and even when it comes to a research paper, uh, and their final product will end up being much more polished and a lot better than if it was a sort of one and done deal. When it comes to lesson plans, instructions, and assessments, the biggest absolute priority is making sure that the content and the instruction, everything is something that is pragmatic, meaning not only is it applicable, applicable to the students, but it's something they actually care about. So with that, there should be a lot of freedom within these assessments. They should always be able to choose 
what they're researching with a health co health science career lesson plan in mind in the ELA format. This gives them also the challenge by choice because, you know, we want them to look outside the box. We want them to see that there is more in the health science career than just being a doctor. That's all students are already exposed to. So we should have them do that challenge by choice where in students need to research something they previously haven't heard of, but something that is within their interest. That way it directly correlates to their life if they so choose. So with that, we wanna make sure that because there's so much freedom, the summative assessments are stricter. Meaning that, yes, they have a lot of freedom in what they choose, but they need to hit every expectation that we set for them. In order to design multidisciplinary curriculum, uh, you need to begin with a culminating event, which really is focus on building towards one central topic, and our topic is health science careers. So you need to um, focus toward the one event, which is using ELA skills to instruct, even though health science careers might not seem relevant to ELA instruction, they are. Um, it's up to the instructor to figure out that correlation, but, um, the culminating event, of course, is the relevant summative assessment based on the health science text that the ELA instructor is instructing on, and that is the main event that we're building towards, and that's the main focus, and you have to keep your eye on the prize, in a sense, to build towards that main event, because that is the main goal of the curriculum design. Of any curriculum design, you have to focus towards the end goal and what you want your students to get out of it. So the essential questions uh, an instructor has to ask themselves when they're planning is, how can I still teach ELA with this topic as the focus, and what is the value of teaching this topic? So focusing on the ELA aspects um, is just making the curriculum possible. Uh, that's the part of the essential um, question and the main focus, the culminating event. You have to figure out how to teach ELA when you're focusing on health science careers. In this case, it would be focusing on text design, formatting, um, how to read health science career fit focus papers and um, how to get through them, also teaching the vocabulary that's frequent, and language uh, organization that's per when it's presented in an informative way like they are in health science careers and focusing on those little aspects in order to be able to highlight them and teach your students. You remind yourself what the value is of teaching this topic to um, realize the value to your students even if this topic is unimportant or uninteresting to you. Um, like for me personally, a health science career doesn't matter to me, but if it's a, I'm curriculum planning for it, I need to focus on the value of teaching for my students. Otherwise, I'm not going to be interested in teaching the topic. So those are the essential questions that a teacher needs to focus on to design a, multiply, no, a multidisciplinary curriculum. Um, some issues is, once again, we're ELA, ELA instructors, so things like how science um, formats are unfamiliar to us, so self-teaching might be necessary in order for this to be successful. It most likely will be necessary because you have to teach yourself how to be familiar with and read and deconstruct scientific documents um, to figure out the crucial formatting and, like I said, the language demands that you need to be able to instruct on, and you really have to have it mastered. So even if you're unfamiliar with it, you have to teach yourself how to be an expert at it in order to best teach it to your students and give them quality ELA instruction on health science uh, topics. The learning scenario for this type of curriculum um, should be focused on a topic that's relevant to students. In this case, I would think high school students would be the most relevant um, students in a learning scenario because they're, you know, um, considering career options, they're trying to get ready for adulthood. So teaching this type of multidisciplinary curriculum of health science careers can really open their eyes and prepare them for that career if they're interested in it. Um, it should also be focused on um, like current events, if that's not if that, there's relevant things going on, but specifically in today's current um, atmosphere of pushing towards global competency instruction with students, um, teaching students multiple skill sets that are needed across disciplines, uh, there's a lot more demand in careers like health science careers, even in literacy, whereas uh, in the past it wasn't considered something you needed a great deal of ELA instruction to be successful at, but in this day and age, there's a high demand for literacy and communication skills everywhere. 
and that's why global competency is being pushed so much. So I would call that a very relevant current event um, atmosphere of the world, which is why this curriculum, this type of curriculum instruction is so important. Um, the subunits all need to be correct, connected back to the overall topic of health science careers. Um, they're just broken down in the different areas within the discipline. So health science, obviously, algebra is huge in health science careers. You need to understand it. World history to be able to understand like how we got to this place in health and science. Um, understand how we got here so we don't make the same mistakes. And then, of course, ELA instruction because you have to be able to read documents, write documents. Um, do the summative assessment and you really have to be distinct in your breakdowns because even though health science careers might sound very cohesive and one in itself and something different than all of these different subunits breaking them down and making it clear like there's a lot to this career you have to be able to do all these things is the most beneficial for designing this curriculum and that is the breakdown on multidisciplinary curriculum design for health science careers. So within the health science career unit, students are doing meaningful work. They're developing autonomy through gradual release. So in the first lessons of the unit, students are being told what health science careers are and they're brainstorming different careers and learning how to compose a research paper. And by the end of the unit, students are conducting their own research on health science careers they've chosen that align mostly with themselves, and they're composing their own research papers, structuring it themselves, and the end result is a research paper. So we do go from that introduction to them doing that independent work. Students also have choice, um, so they do have the autonomy through choice. Students pick what career within the health science careers they see themselves in, and then they go ahead and explore that through research and compose a research paper regarding the career they see themselves in. The work within the unit is also pretty complex. So they're learning how to write a research paper, how to structure a research paper, and also how to conduct their own research paper, which are very complex skills that they will be doing all throughout their educational careers when they get to college. Students are primarily doing research and writing research papers, so it is pretty complex work. And the reading that they are doing, mostly through their research, is the reading of scientific texts. And I'm sure all of us know how difficult these texts can be to comprehend. So they, the work that they are doing is complex through the reading of these scientific texts and the tasks they're being asked to do through their research and research paper. So there is reward in the health and science career unit. Some students might be able to find a possible career path. Students are being introduced to this set of careers, the health science careers, and they're asked to explore different careers within the career and also prior notions of these careers are being shut down. So students might find themselves in one of these careers and might see a possible career path that they could take in the future. All right, so to bring it all together, the Health Science Career Unit allows students to explore a future career path. So students are looking into the different careers that fall under the umbrella term of health science careers. And so they might find something that they're very interested in and they might take that career path in the future. You never know. The summative assessment of this unit is a research paper which is a big area that the ELA teacher will come into play. And it's a super important project given that students, if they decide to pursue a science career, if they decide to pursue an English career, um, basically any career, they're probably going to have to write a research paper in college. And so getting that early exposure and the guidance through the research paper is very effective. Um, the unit also incorporates all content areas, so every content area plays a role in this unit. If you saw there was math in it, there was like charts and like looking at salaries and stuff like that, and again the research papers where the ELA teacher comes into play, and the science of course in the health science careers is in play as well. 
Students are also completing hard work independently and they're completing meaningful work. Again, this could maybe lead to a future career path and a research paper, at least in my opinion, I think a lot of people would agree, is probably one of the hardest and most difficult uh, pieces of writing a person can produce. A lot goes into it. And as I believe it was Julia mentioned, it's a very strict research paper. You have to cite, you have to complete the research yourself. So it's a, it's a very difficult task, but it, it's meaningful in the end.